Nixa versus Ozark. I'm really hoping that nobody from Nixa or Ozark watches this because if you don't know, there is a big rivalry between Nixa and Ozarks and athletics and sports and I might get beheaded. However, today we are gonna do a battle of the Springfield, greater Springfield, Missouri area, suburban towns. Nixa versus Ozark, what's better? You moving from out of town, you not you wanna know uh, which one fits you, your lifestyle, your budget, etc. They're very similar towns, both medium sized towns. Nixa has a population of 24,000 people Ozark has a population of 21,000 people, but Ozark is a little bit more expensive and actually has more to do. So let's talk about which is better, Ozark or Nixa, as well as which town I personally live in. Make me a deal. If you get any value or information out of today's video, hit that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. My name is Grayson Roberts, a realtor and owner of Boss Properties. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in the greater Springfield, Missouri area, don't hesitate to reach out, call, text, or email. Whatever is your speed, 24-7. I don't sleep. I'm a daggum robot. And I'm really enjoying building this channel, helping people relocate and become my neighbors. It's been a lot of fun. Before we get into it, I also want to give a brief shout out to Boss Properties sponsor, Weeble, our favorite free online stock brokerage. They're going to give you six free stocks by signing up with the link in our description as a sign up bonus, get that free money. And let's talk about moving to Nixa or Ozark. Now, Nixa is slightly larger, slightly cheaper, and a slightly less to do. The average home price in Nixa is roughly $309,000 with the average home price in Ozark being about $325,000. And in my personal opinion, having lived here my entire life, Ozark has a little bit more to offer. And if they don't, they have a little bit more cool things to offer. So for example, both towns have dealerships. So if you're looking to buy a cheap used car in Missouri, both towns can do that. However, Ozark has more of the big name brands like Ford and Chevy, while Nixa has mostly mom and pop shops uh, using recycled car washes. I mean, those are popping up everywhere for some reason. And Ozark actually has what I believe is some of the best restaurants in the entire Southwest Missouri region. Definitely swamps Nixa and they have so much more charm. For example, the mill, it was an abandoned converted mill built by legendary Johnny Morris, the owner, founder, CEO of Bass Pro Shops. And if you didn't know, the world headquarters is here in Springfield. So uh, if Johnny Morrison, a man with a $22 billion net worth, touches an abandoned mill, you know it's going to turn to gold because everything this man touches turns to gold. The mill is overlooking a gorgeous waterfall. It is a high-end dining experience, open for lunch and dinner. And down in the basement, they have another speakeasy style, kind of really cool, charming bar uh, called the Garrison. I have yet to actually experience that, but it looks so cool and my family is gone and it looks absolutely magnificent. Also, talking about converted old buildings, uh, the Finley is another wonderful fine dining experience in a converted church. It also has a cool speakeasy style basement bar, which is really cool. Both have phenomenal food and the Finley actually is open for brunch and oh my God, it's delicious. So Ozark has a lot more charm, cool stuff to do. They have a better downtown area. Ozark is kind of built to be kind of old school, but by design. So just the square downtown Ozark is really cool, a lot of awesome places to eat, shops to visit, and it's just a fun place. You've got the historic courthouse, the historic cannons, there's just a lot of rich history in the square of downtown Ozark, and downtown Nixa is basically non-existent. When you pull up to the square in Ozark, you know you're in the square. When you pull up downtown Nixa, you would never know unless you knew. There is a big, beautiful new mural in downtown Nixa that says downtown Nixa, but you'd be like, where is it? There's like a Chinese food place and then a couple stores that no one really heard of. And then there is a, a cool cafe called Morning Day Cafe. Uh, but other than that, downtown Nixa is pretty pathetic. It is expanding and it is growing and I am trying to spend more time down there. Uh, but downtown Ozark and just Ozark in general, I think has more charm and more to do. Now let's talk about the community center. Ozark Community Center has an indoor kind of mini water park pool area that's really cool for the winter months. And of course they have a gym and a basketball court and classes and all sorts of stuff. However, Nixa does not have an indoor pool, but what Nixa does have is a magnificent outdoor water park. It is absolutely awesome. And Ozark doesn't have that. So Nixa definitely takes the cake for summer activities and Ozark or summer swimming activities and Ozark takes the cake for winter 
swimming activities, which is awesome because they're not really competing with each other. Not to mention the Nixa Park is one of the best in the area. I think it's better than any park in Ozark. Not to mention they actually just wiped out the entire Nixa Community Center Park next to the pool to build a brand new all-inclusive park. So you have the giant awesome community center with weights, a basketball court, you've got the awesome outdoor water park and you're about to have a brand new state-of-the-art uh, playground, which is just a really fun place to spend a lot of time. You can do, you know, fun for all ages. Anybody can do whatever they want. It's uh, the Nixon Community Center, in my opinion, I think is actually better. A lot of people would say the Ozark one is better because of the indoor pool, but the outdoor pool, I mean, it's kind of when people want to swim anyway. Now, both towns are extremely sought after with limited rental opportunities, and you're going to definitely pay a pretty penny if you would like to rent a home here, especially compared to towns like Springfield, Missouri, where the average home price is about $250. $50,000, $260 in today's market. So you'll absolutely pay a pretty penny premium to live in Nixa or Ozark, and it's mostly homeowners, which is honestly a good thing. It's an extraordinarily safe community, both of them with some of the best schools in the nation. Now, from my understanding, Nixa actually tests a little bit higher than Ozark in schooling uh, test scores, uh, but this is not something that I keep up with and I'm on the, the edge of my seat. I don't have a child in the Nixa school system or the Ozark school system, uh, so I... I, I couldn't tell you, but from what I remember, makes us a little bit smarter than Ozark. Moral of the story is both towns are medium, mid to low 20,000 population. They've got a handful of things to offer with I think Ozark offering a little bit more charm with a slightly higher price. Nixa having a little bit less charm with a slightly lower price. Now, where do I personally live? I live in Nixon, Missouri. I just live in a quiet, basic cookie cutter neighborhood. I live here because it's where I grew up. I briefly lived in Springfield. You can check out my video on why I moved to Springfield and why I moved out. And it's closer to my family. However, what town do I personally like better? Ozark. Honestly, I like Ozark better. That's just my personal opinion. Nixa has some legs up on Ozark. Ozark has some legs up, but let's say you wanna go take advantage of their indoor pool. Well, then just drive 15 minutes from Nixa. They work kind of in tandem. I spend a lot of time in Nixa, Ozark, and Springfield. It's all just kind of one kind of 20 to 30 minute radius that you can do a lot of fun things, basically anything you'd want to do. So it's not that big of a deal, but if I had to pick a favorite, it would be Ozark. Anyway, that is Nixa versus Ozark, the ultimate showdown. Now we're not going to get into too many details and statistics and anything like that because I do have dedicated videos on both towns. I have series on this channel, on the playlist, on my blogs, on my podcast, and everything like that. If you would like a deep dive into either town to further contemplate your decision on which town you want to choose, I highly recommend you check those out. Don't hesitate to call a text, email, you can send a pigeon carrier. I don't really care. I'm more than happy to help you with all of your real estate needs. Buy, sell, or invest with the absolute best. This is Grayson Roberts with Boss Properties. Thank you guys so much for hanging out on my YouTube channel. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time.